What's going on guys? It's me, Sammy Mong. Here's my character and welcome to Riders of Icarus, the MMO RPG free to play in just a week. I have brought a founders pack so I've got a week's early access and yeah today's well, today's video I'm gonna do multiple videos today but this first video is just gonna be a first quick look at the game describe a few oh god hit my hit my mic stand thing describe a few features and of course select my riders heroic founders pack to see what we get now before I go into this when the game first launched I was obviously level one I played five hours so far and I will be returning to this character I'm gonna be covering some guides all the way up to this level because there's a lot to cover resources to first get you into crafting just questing gear and I don't want to be doing that on a high level character and having to go back so be sure to look out for them guides later on in the week but when I first came in I didn't get my heroic founders pack okay so I didn't get my mounts and that's why I'm claiming it in today's video what I did get was two flying mounts and they've unfortunately now disappeared and you do get given a flying mount for a week but as it's only a week so you can see so you're gonna have to go out and actually tame a flying mount i am now as well but i'm a bit gutted oh oh sorting out my chair uh, i'm a bit gutted that i don't get to keep these two flying mounts of course but they, they would look really cool but obviously now we get all of our other mounts i also got this 24 designer slot bag which i think because i was using it or it's in use I got to keep and if we go over to my bank storage and go to my storage you can see there's three slots here where I did get three level 25 items like veteran physical necklace and veteran physical ring I got two of them but these items obviously I weren't wasn't supposed to get so it's pretty obvious why they've been taken off of me but luckily I got to keep the designer bag also I've got a few items here and about all of these are crafting items but let's actually just go to our Luna storage open up and go, oh, and that's what they've got, wait, did they get rid of that as well? Wait a minute, oh no, I've still got my alunes. We should get some more alunes here as well, just so we can get um, some stuff from the shop. Yes, this cannot be refunded. Do you want it? Confirm, there we go. We've got heroes, oh, I was about to say, what is this? And there we go, we've got everything. We've got the transit shrine pass, okay. An item only usable when premium service is activated. So there's our portable auction broker, only usable when premium service is activated, and portable storage master. But as you can see, we should technically get premium service. Oh god. Oh, I think we've already got premium service. Yeah, we've, we've got the premium service. The premium service is automatically added on. I've got it for 30 days. You can buy more in a loon store if you haven't got it or you haven't got a founder's pack that gives you some for free. But as you can see up there in the top right, increases character XP, increases familiar, so your pets, so your mounts, increases that XP, increases the chance to tame your pets and your mounts, increases money dropped, auction listings, and auction sales. Oh, it's fantastic. I'm, I don't know what the Transit Shrine Pass does. I'm guessing that's just a portable bank and this is just a portable auction person or auctioneur but let's have a look at what we get in here we get a title we get 30 health recovery potions and 30 mana potions a founders pack familiar package a founders pack familiar skin so those are the mounts and the wolves we get a pet some loons a character customization so the beautification voucher and we get another character <laughs> slot voucher there we go we received one pet we received one character slot voucher let's have a look we received a character customization Familiar, oh, we've got to further redeem the familiar's pa founder's packs, okay? So let's have a look at the pet first of all. Used to uh, make item Queen Liquinius, your familiar. Yes, I do want to confirm. There we go, we've got her up. This is a level one pet, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Let's have a look at her stats. She's got a lot of physical defense, not too much DPS. High move speed, high attack speed, and an onslaught attack. So she's going to go well, probably alongside my Woodland Joey. If you compare her to my Woodland Joey, though, she, Woodland Joey's got more attack, but a little bit less defense. He's a healing type as well. But two stars, guys. That means she's she's a little bit rarer than the other ones, okay? Now, let's open up everything else. Oh, the Founders Pack Familiar Package. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, the Diamond Wolf. There we go. And the Amethyst Wolf. Oh, goddamn beautiful, boys. Goddamn beautiful. Let's go outside. Let's go outside and equip these up. Sorry if you can hear my computer fan going off in the background as well. It's, 
a bit annoying, but let's summon you. Let's, oh no, we can't, we'll have to drag it in a minute. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, that is a thumbnail and a half, ladies and gentlemen. Let me just go into my settings, and if you go to game, um, here you go, put your character height down, you'll come down a lot lower, so it gives you a better look at your mounts and stuff, but oh, the diamond skin, it just like, the, the lens glare, it's so nice. Wow, look at that, with the purple legs and everything. Oh, I am liking that indeed, I'm definitely liking that. But let's drag you down, oh, we can't drag you down here. Let's just demount you, how do you demount? Oh no, oh no, how do I demount? There we go, let's drag you down to here. This is what I usually do, if you just drag whatever mount you're using and then assign it to a hotbar, there you go, you can obviously re-click that same hotkey to get rid of it. Oh, was that the amethyst wolf or was that the diamond wolf? This is the diamond wolf here. Oh, so the diamond is a lot more shiny. I think that was the amethyst. Whoa! That is a decent and a half mount. How fast is he? Okay, and now sprinting. He's got some decent speed on him. That This is the mount you get with the legendary heroic founders pack. So the 65 pound one. Look at that cool ass dragon. Could have got that, but no. I'm happy with my diamond wolves. Happy I've now finally got them. Let's take one more look at the amethyst wolf here. And yeah, this is the guy with the purple legs. I'm pretty sure I prefer the amethyst wolf. For sure. Like, actually for sure. So let's just jump off of him. There we go. We've also got the diamond wolf set as O. So let's set that diamond wolf down there. I'm going to use both of them for now. And let's take a look at what else we've got. So there's the health recovery potions. Is that... Did I only get mana potion? Oh no, because I already have some 100% ones that's so just stacked on top of them. Character slot voucher, so there we go. Do you want to unlock a max character slot? Confirm. Obviously guys, there's five classes in the game. I'm currently a wizard, which is technically the hardest class to play, okay? So, I I've got some skills. Okay, I've got some skills, boys. But, I'm hard currently a wizard. I do want to unlock a load of characters. I'm going to have to leave one and eventually buy up to save another character slot. You can get these from the Elune storage, I'm pretty sure. So we will check out that probably in another video because on my laptop, opening up the store actually crashes. It crashes the client. Take this to a beautification to get yourself a new look. So a couple of this, I'm just going to dump into my uh, bank, my storage, and then the skin. But yeah, if you dump it in storage, you don't have to worry about it for too much. Oh, we've got, a, we've got to, oh, 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 my Amethyst Wolf is leveled up, or oh, my Diamond Wolf is leveled up. As they level up, they get more skills, by the way, guys. So that's something that this game really does differ from other MMORPGs. You can tame your own mounts, which you can then turn into pets, and they all have different skills, whether it be a mount or a pet. And you can even go down into, to, like, capture a mount and remove its skills later down the line, once you're high level, and apply that to a different mount. So that's so cool, I do like that. But let's open up the skins. There's, I don't know what the Transit Shrine Craft is. I'm really a bit confused on that. Right click to add the skin then. And then right click to add the skin and select it from the familiar skin window. So this gives you more health and more speed and so does this one. So let's right click, right click. And now we go to our wolf and you go down to familiar skins. There we go. You can, can you do it on diamond? Ah, you can do it on both of them as well. So there's the Ruby Wolf skin, 6% faster, I do like that, and then there's the Topaz. So let's just whack this on here, change familiar skin, confirm, the skin has been changed on the Amethyst Wolf, so let's go ahead and actually summon this Amethyst Wolf, there we go, oh, oh, look at those golden, I just, just look at the golden skin, like literally, oh it does look amazing, look at it. Well worth the money, definitely well worth the money. Now with his speed boost, obviously, you can tell he's a little bit faster. When you're sprinting, it does show up a little bit more. But that's just amazing. What else have we got? We've got the loons. I, I don't want to open up the shop. Maybe, maybe I'll open up the shop in a minute. We'll do that in just a second. We've got the loons, and then we've got the beautification voucher. But guys, that is everything you get in the Heroic Founders Packs. Be sure to check back to our channel for, as I said, low leveling guides on crafting. Because look at this, I've got into the crafting, I know how to get the resources, how it all works. I need to level up to level 10 to move on further with it. But as said, the level cap's only level 25, so I want to be doing low level guides and then getting into level 10s, 15s, mid level guides, and then obviously level 25, the high level guides. And I'm currently in the main city. This is where you start off with, like up until level 7, level 8, you're only in this area. This is where you collect resources for crafting, you level up in quests, 
But then you don't get too much in terms of actually being able to craft and do your own thing. That's when you come to the first city once you've gotten past that sort of starting tutorial area. Which is this. Obviously you can craft, you can go to a bank, you can go to auction. And then you move on to the other two remaining areas that are currently in the game. We go to the world map. We're the her, What's it called? The Hakanos Crossing is not on the map. That's where we were and then these are the two other areas. I've been told to go here so I'm guessing this area is... Up until around level 20 and then this is the late game area. But you can see all of the areas that they're planning to add and it just looks amazing. If you've enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to check back to our channel later on today because I'm going to be getting 3 to 4 videos up today. And of course later on in the week for more guides on all classes, all the crafting, where to find stuff, how to get the best skins and all of that. And by the way, sitting on your familiars does just randomly level up. You do just give them EXP. That's gonna be it for all that, for now, that's gonna be it for now, guys. So excited, my my commentary is being rushed. Ugh, it's being rushed. I need to jump back into the game, start leveling up, start my new character. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video. Ah, so cool.